वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज अनूप सिंह यू आर वाचिंग एरोटेक एडवांस यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे इन टुडे वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द लेक्चर नंबर टू रिलेटेड टू चैप्टर नंबर टू दैट इज वेट एस्टिमेशन वी ऑलरेडी डन द लेक्चर नंबर वन रिलेटेड टू चैप्टर नंबर टू वेट एस्टिमेशन आई होप सो एवरी इज ऑलरेडी सीन दैट वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड लास्ट टू वीक्स so guys sorry for that i have taken a long vacation after that i have made this video because of some my research work i need to complete so guys now i will try my best to prepare a most of videos of lectures of different different subjects and also i am going to launch the vacancy of aeronautical and aerospace student related videos in that short videos you the most of job aspirant students can find out the job easily so that is my target especially so guys without wasting much time so we are going to start for today video so in today lecture lecture number 2 we are going to discuss the few topics in today lecture so let's see the main topic we are going to discuss that is related to estimation of fuel fraction so fuel fraction is very important you can find out the so many points we are going to discuss in fuel fraction the first point we are going to discuss related to mission profile so once you are understand related to mission profile then you are going to understand where in which segment or in which types of profiles the fuel is consumed during the mission then second topic is related to weight fraction for various segment of mission then third topic is related to fuel fraction for warm up taxiing and take off performance of airplane then next topic is related to fuel fraction for climbing performance similarly for next topic related to fuel fraction during the cruise performance and then we are going to see the fuel fraction during the loiter performance okay loiter i am going to explain what is that okay and then we are going to see the estimation of l by d max that is also important for defining the mission any mission without l d l by d max is difficult to defining the range and endurance parameter so let's we are going to discuss then we are going to see the drag polar of a typical high subsonic jet airplane typical high subsonic jet airplane because nowadays if you see the commercial aircraft that is we are mostly preferable that is a low subsonic jet airplane and high subsonic jet airplane so that's the reason we are going to see the typical parameters of high subsonic jet airplane so guys let's see the first point that is related to estimation of fuel fraction so the estimation of fuel fraction the weight of the fuels needed to depends on upon the following parameters so what parameters is depends first is fuel for required for mission second is fuel required as reserve and third is trapped fuel which cannot be pumped out understand so this types of fuel is weight of the fuels depends upon the following and then we are going to see that the fuel required for the mission depends on the following factors or you can say following factors affecting the missions for fuel requirement so let's see which one so here i mentioned point wise the first is mission to be flown which which types of mission profile is there so that is also affect then second is aerodynamics of the airplane then third is specific fuel consumptions of the engine obviously specific fuel consumptions different different ha engines having different different specific fuel consumption understand so this three parameters is uh, highly depends of fuel consumption or fuel required during the airplane performance and this is a very important factor affecting also okay so i hope so you are understand this overlay of today topic weight estimation so let's see the first is mission profile so guys mission profile is very very simple if you see in this typical diagram so you can understand the simple mission suppose i am going to talk about there is a simple mission for a transport transport airplane i will take the transport airplane 
the mission profiles will be generally having warm up then take off then climb then cruise then descend then loiter and landing if you see in this case in the typical diagram take off landing take off then climb sorry then cruise then descend then loiter then landing see after descend it does not come directly landing okay first it's need loiter means the aircraft do after the descend aircraft is going to take round at certain radius around the airport in order to take the landing operation it's not like that just after the cruise process is going to descend operation and descend operation is directly take the landing operation no after descend it does not take the landing operation directly okay it's required to lose some height in order to take the landing performance understand so this is very simple mission profile what i am saying and this is a one phase okay i will consider this is a only one phase only one phase of simple mission of the airplane understand so this is very simple i hope so you are understand the mission profile understand this is a simple mission profile so let's see the next the next is a weight fraction for various segment of mission so you guys understand okay the mission profile so segment segments of the mission if you see i am going to see the further diagram so in this diagram you can see the segment is what segment is this take off is one segment climbing is one segment cruise is one segment descend is one segment understand so this is a segment of the mission so how much the fuel is consumed due for the different different segment of the mission that is in the terms of we are measuring fuel fraction so let's see the fuel required in the particular phase of the mission depends on so depends on that weight of the airplanes at the start of that phase or distance covered or duration of the times of the phase means initial weight or you can say the final weight understand so let's see we are going to see some point what we need to keep in mind to approach to estimate the fuel fraction for chosen mission profile so in that case i have mentioned some formula how to how to define how to define the fuel fraction equation so if you see here the following approach we need to choose in order to estimate the fuel fraction so first let's take the mission having the n phase okay we don't know how many phase that aircraft is take off so let's see let's choose that n phase then second we are going to choose the fuel fraction of the phase i is donated if you see w i upon w i minus 1 what is that i is the initial weight initial weight and i minus 1 is the final weight i will take w 1 upon w 2 understand w 2 or w i minus 1 is means if you know the once the aircraft is take the uh, take the uh, flight operation you know the aircraft having the weight of fuel okay and after the mission you know the weight of the fuel is decreases means fuel is consumed so obviously overall weight of the aircraft is decreases so that is donation this one okay and then third point is that take w not is the weight as the starting of the flight same and wn is the weight at the end of the flight means wn by w not wn by w not means w2 by w1 you can take w2 is the final weight and w1 is the initial weight or you can take w not by wn up to the nth phase of the mission understand mission profile we don't know so we are taken the n mission under understand n phase of mission and the last point if you understand the fuel fraction that is wi upon wi minus 1 for all the phases are estimated and wn by w not is calculated by the equation of 3.2.6 this one understand easily we don't care how many phases is there okay you you can take in the terms of n and n minus 1 understand and here here it's given for trapped fuel understand that we are not going to uh, pump it out of the aircraft system that we are always putting stored in the aircraft system so let's see about the fuel fraction for warm up taxiing understand warm up taxiing and take off 
operation so how much the fuel is consumed during the warm up taxiing and take off operation so let's see but in the terms of what wi by w not so i hope so you guys are understand w 1 by w not not means that is initial mass and 1 means here the final mass so don't confuse guys in many of the books the notation is different different so don't confuse so here i am giving the rough idea what is the value of w i by w not a w1 by w not for which operation warm up operation taxiing operation and take off so let's see guys for home build up or single engine piston airplane having the value of fuel fraction that is 0.99 if i am going to take the twin engine turbo prop engine or jet transport for both military and civil aircraft or flying boat or you can say that supersonic airplane that is typical value is 0.98 so that is not much difference is guys 0.9 and 0.98 and if i am going to take for fighter trainer aircraft or fighter aircraft that is the fraction value is 0.97 so it's not much differ if you find out the range is 0.96 to 0.97 understand so this is a typical value of fuel fraction from warm up taxiing and take off types of operation of different different category of aircraft okay this is very important during the gate examination you can find out one and two marks question understand so let's see now the next topic is uh, fuel fraction for climbing operation so during the climb you know the i already shown the operation first is a uh, 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 take off roll and then climbing operation understand so in that case you know the climbing operation is take off this one climbing so how much the fuel fraction so here i am going to give the idea about how much the fraction fuel fraction is therefore different category of aircraft so low speed airplane including the twin engine airplane and flying boat cruise at moderate altitude moderate altitude means 4 to 6 km so fuel fraction is taken like 0.9 0.99 understand and suppose i am talking about the military aircraft and transport aircraft is a, it's flying around 11 km so fuel fraction is around 0.98 understand i suppose i am going to take a fighter airplane having the powerful engine and attend the supersonic uh, mac number so in that case i am going to find out 0.9 to 0.96 the similar what we are discuss on the previous slide understand the supersonic so guys this is a rough idea what i am giving related to fuel fraction for climbing performance okay if you are going to see for cruise operation understand Gru cruise operation for ground roll then and a climbing operation then cruise understand cruise so in that case we know the bracket equation okay in that case we are using the bracket equations in order to defining the fuel fraction that is a best method okay so bracket equations we know the airplane with the uh, only pure gen jet engine aircraft or combined engine propeller combined aircraft so that i am going to show you the derivation also but bracket equation is very general equation what we are done in the aircraft performance subject okay but here i am going to give some idea because the relation is very very important but here try to understand the bracket equation for range and endurance of the different category of the aircraft is depend upon some parameters so what types of parameters is depend depends upon lift coefficient depends upon specific fuel consumption depend okay if it is combined engine so it it's depend upon brake specific fuel consumption if it is jet pure jet engine so it is depend upon thrust specific fuel consumption and then propeller efficiency if it is a proper engine propeller combination airplane so propeller efficiency is also matter understand and then flight altitude because the pressure temperature density everything is changed so obviously the fuel fraction the consumption of fuels production of thrust everything is changed okay so let's let's see in this case the next is about we are going to see some derivation related to bracket equation okay that is range equation so here first of all try to consider a flight speed is v okay we are talking the v is the velocity in the terms of meter per second distance covered that is dr in the kilometer 
and the equation the 3.7 is the generalized equation of the range that is dr is equal to dw into kilometer upon newton of fuels newton of fuels means guys how much the thrust is produced after the consumption of the fuel that is newton of the fuel newton of the fuel is vary on both category of the airplane airplane with engine propeller combination or airplane with jet engine pure jet engine understand so we are going to see so let's start first i am going to take the jet engine airplane so i am taking the fuel consumption that is dw and dw i i will know dw is what that is thrust specific fuel consumption into thrust into time interval means in that time interval how much the thrust is produced after the thrust specific fuel consumption understand that is a definition and we knows that the newton per hours we are converted in the terms of hour understand so let's see the same step in in the next slide that is a kilometer per newton of the fuel so this is a standard equation guys new kilometer upon newton of the fuel means how much the airplane is traveled per thrust of the fuel is consumed by the engine understand so this is a formula general formula okay every time you can understand but what's the changes you are going to find out this thrust specific that is only we are going to use in the jet engine aircraft but it is going to change in the case of propeller engine combination understand so i am going to use this one in the equation of 3.27 so that is previous equation so finally i got this uh, the derivation of range equation but we knows the steady level flight that is thrust is equal to weight understand so with the help of we know that is dw we are going to give and putting the substituting the value in the equation of 3.2.8 So finally, we get dr is equal to minus 3.6 into v uh, into l by d upon thrust specific fuel consumption into weight. Okay, but in this equation, assume velocity, thrust specific fuel consumption, and l by d ratio to be constant, and taking weight w i minus one and w i as a weight of the airplane at the beginning and end of the cruise. and after that we are going to integrate understand suppose i am going to vary all the uh, i am going to vary all this component velocity so it is difficult to find out difficult to integrate so here variable is what variable is weight understand variable is weight only so let's see after the integration once i am going to integrate i got the final equation this is 3.30 understand so this is a range equation of airplane with the jet engine suppose i am going to see and weight fraction suppose i am going to take separate this one wi minus 1 upon wi so i got the weight fraction understand very simple with the help of range equation that is a bracket equation now i am going to take the example of airplane with engine propeller combination so fuel the similar formula i am going to use for weight understand only difference is what brake specific fuel consumption instead of thrust specific fuel consumption i am putting the same equation of kilometer per newton of of fuel i am going to use that specific fuel brake specific fuel consumption and efficiency of the propeller also understand so these things we are going to use in the airplane with the engine propeller con combination let's see the how we are going to integrate the same thing we are going to use substitute in the equation of range and at the final i am going to substitute the value of remaining of thrust and velocity value and af after that we are assuming all the parameter is constant except weight and we are integrating the weight in the terms of wi upon wi minus 1 and final equation we get in the case of airplane with the propeller engine combination so this is guys equation range equation or you can say bracket equation of a two category of airplane the two category of airplane we we knows that airplane with the jet pure jet engine and the airplane with the engine propeller combination so i hope so you guys are understand the how to derive the range equation in both of both category of airplane let's see for endurance equation okay endurance 
derivation very simple derivation the endurance derivation is this one de is equal to dwt into howards of one newton of fuel uh, newton of fuel consumption understand same equation only in the inverse form in the terms of inverse form understand that is i am going to take de is equal to dw upon range understand so that is very simple and the final equation if you can find dwt upon thrust per specific fuel consumption into thrust because the first case i am going to take jet engine airplane so thrust is specific fuel consumption term is going to come understand so same thing we are going to substitute and i finally i got in the terms of that is 3.3.5 that is a general equation of endurance in the terms of l by d ratio so in this equation let assume the l by d ratio and the thrust specific fuel consumption is constant and second in this equation also we are going to integrate this equation endurance equation with respect to w i minus 1 and w i that is the beginning and end of the flight of airplane so finally i got the endurance equation understand in this endurance equation take this fraction wi upon wi upon wi minus 1 that is a fuel fraction that is our main target so take out and we get finally that is 3.3.7 fuel fraction so guys this is the endurance equation for the jet engine airplane with jet engine let's see for second case second category of airplane that is engine airplane with engine propeller combination in that case similar we are going to use the brake specific fuel consumption and efficiency divided by efficiency propeller efficiency that's it otherwise equation is same in that case i am going to put all the equation at the final we get similarly endurance equation put this all the parameter is the constant and integrating the uh, equation of the endurance with respect to wi minus 1 upon wi that's it so we got in the terms of a weight fraction understand fuel fraction sorry so we are separating this fuel fraction we are finding we are getting the fuel fraction for the airplane with the propeller engine combination so guys this is a endurance equation in both category of aircraft and also we are seeing the fuel fraction in both category of airplane i hope so you guys are understand very simple concept if you guys are done the airplane performance so there is no need to put more effort in this derivation here i am showing this derivation in order to justify the equation of only and only this fuel fraction understand otherwise you guys already done in the airplane performance this equation that is called bracket equation and endurance equation of the, the airplane with jet engine aircraft or airplane with the propeller engine combination so let's see the next topic that is estimation of l by d max guys estimation of l by d max is very important that is depends upon the aircraft aerodynamics properties so here i have given the expression of cd not and k for subsonic airplane because we highly use the subsonic airplane in our commercial aircraft but with high aspect ratio that is greater than 5 so here i mentioned 3.4.2 and 3.4.3 the equation of cd not and equation of k in order to understand there is no need to derive this equation okay try to understand there is no need to derive only try to understand how this aerodynamic cd not and k is depend upon which parameter because this is parameter is affecting the l by d l by d max of the airplane and that is affect the performance of the airplane okay so let's see this equation what we are talking 3.6 in this case a is the wing area m is the mac number s is the wing area t by c is the wing uh, thickness ratio a is the taper ratio of wing lambda sorry lambda is the taper ratio of the wing gamma 1 by 4 is the quarter chord sweep of wing n is the number of engine located at on the top of the wing and then the remaining parameters in this equation that is af that is air foil factor so don't confuse air foil factor the typical value you can take that is 0.93 for special air foil and 0.75 for naka air foil series understand cif is the function of the air foil 
record over the flow is laminar understand rwf you can take the wet area upon area of the wing understand tf is the factor which is unity for a streamline shape okay it's depend upon the shape and profile of the wing so is depend also upon that cd not value if it is increase so it is going to affect understand so this is a parameter we need to consider for this is cd not and and then see the remaining in that case that is important of l by d max definition that is l by d max 1 upon under root cd not by k that's the reason we are going we are seeing the cd not and k expression understand because the l by d max estimation is depend upon cd not is a function of cd not and k so that's the reason we are seeing which parameter the cd not and k is depends understand so we already discussed so in that case is very important and that is a factor affecting and typically we are going to take the three cases that is a high subsonic jet engine turbo plane uh, airplane and low speed piston engine airplane are considered okay this types of derivations we can use in that three typical cases okay and also if you see the equation what we are seeing the 3.4.2 and 3. Point, that is a drag polar are reduced of three cases understand drag polar this one and suggested also given to obtain the drag polar for a similar airplane so guys this is about the estimation of l by d max let's see the last topic that is drag polar of typical high subsonic jet airplane so guys here i am we are going to see the some typical features the typical high subsonic jet has the following features like mach number 0.8 aspect ratio is 9 advanced supercritical airfoil we are using that having the tip T by C ratio that is 0.14, taper ratio is 0.25, sweep angle is 30 degree. So due to the Reynolds number, the flow treated as the turbulent from almost from the leading edge to leading edge that we are taking CIF is equal to zero. So guys, this parameter what I have given here that is a typical parameter related to drag polar of high subsonic jet. Uh, jet airplane so don't confuse sir why you are explaining this one because i am explaining this one this because this all typical value what i have mentioned that you are going to use as a, a, a basic value for designing the airplane understand different category of the airplane if you choose for low subsonic so you can choose the similar parameters and high subsonic you can choose what i have mentioned here so in this case here i have mentioned some chosen parameters that is very helpful once you are going to do the real project on aircraft design okay so here I, what i have mentioned i hope i know you guys are not understand but once you are going to design so you guys are understand the what is the this is the 1 minus 2 rci upon reynolds number is equal to 1 so these types of uh, equations we need to use in order to defining some aerodynamic parameters uh, to justifying the drag polar understand so guys this is the last topic of today lecture lecture number two and uh, very soon i am going to deliver the lecture number three so after lec the lecture number three is the last uh, lecture of chapter number two that is waste estimation so guys i hope so you guys are understand most of all the topics what we are discussed today in our today topic today video if you guys have any question any doubt you can ask in comment box okay and very soon i am going to uh, making the video of different subjects also i am finding my time relevant time very difficult to find out some time to prepare the video editing and uploading on the youtube is very difficult so guys uh, be cooperative and uh, give some motivation on your side watch and share and subscribe my channel ask to your uh, friends also so guys thank you for watching my videos thank you so much